Hi there, welcome to Cognitive Designer. I'm Rana with you. Today we are going to see how we actually use the macros fonts to our windows. If you are a designer, you must face it that sometimes you need to use the macros fonts, but there is no way. I mean, it's not working in the windows. So how we actually fix it? I'm a windows lover, but I need to use sometimes the fonts of macros like uh, as a pro New York, you know, SF Mono. So how we actually make it work perfectly to the windows. So let's see how we actually work on that. So we need to download the 7-zip file first. 7-zip, let's write it and enter. You can see there's, they're showing a 7-zip is a free software to open source. It's the most of the code is under NGNU LP LGPL license. It's just out of our business. So let's go there and just be careful. Uh, first, try to download the most updated one. We can see the most updated one is uh, 23620. And also, just remember that what, what operating system you have. Is it, as you're a Windows user, you need to, you need to know that which operating system your uh, computer is running on. It's 32 bits or 64 bits. So as I know that, uh, my operating system, the Windows 10 is running on 64 bits. So I need to download this one. Let's click here. You can just click here, that's it. And it's showing me that it's already in my downloads. So do I download it? Yes, I want to, sh I want to show you all. So let's download it. Start download. open the folder and see, I have already two here. But no worry, uh, click here, uh, just say yes and, and install. You can install it, that's it, nothing will ask here. So after installing this, you need to download the fonts. So where we'll find the fonts? For example, you need the San Francisco Pro or New York, right? So let's put NY font. The best way to find it, go to uh, Apple Developer. And you can see Apple Developer, because we know that it's the font we are searching and why it's built with Apple Developers. So let's click here. And you can see, you find here, you, you just came here and you can see that developer.apple.com slash fonts. So you are at the right place, right? So you scroll down. Scroll down, yeah. We can see the NY font here. Also, we can see the SF Pro. So here are the fonts that Apple has. Also, they have the Arabic, Armenian, Georgian, and Hebrew. So it will help globally. So I have already downloaded, you can see SF Pro NY, you know. So let's go to my download. So I, it's really, it, it's take time. You can see the SF Pro takes time. So I cancel something. So I've already downloaded. Let's go in there and show you how it actually work. You can see the NY DMG, the SA Pro One DMG. It's the it's the fonts those I have downloaded from the Apple site. So what we need to do, just click on the start button, and you can see the seven zip file manager here. If you cannot see it, just type in seven zip. You can see. I have typed just 7-zip and it's showing me that. Let's click here. Yeah. Remember that you won't see this thing. It will be blank at the very first time. So what you need to do, let's see if it is blank for me. It's just, just like this. And you need to select the folder where your fonts are, right? For example, uh, I'm, I'm uh, just cutting it here and I'm selecting the uh, I'm writing it like um, Mac fonts, pasting it. So you can see I'm in a folder and the breadcrumbs you can see this PC local user, user zone and blah, blah, blah. So I need to select the folder where they are or where it is. So let's click here. If you know, I'm not sure, but if you click here, it will be a nice link. So copy this copy and 
click here and paste it and enter hit enter see just like here th these two items it's showing here why I actually didn't copy this folder because I have so many things here I actually don't want to be messed with that so I have cut I have cut the fonts and make made a folder and paste it there now they're so simple so what I, what I need to do I need to click one font and press click on extract and you can see uh, here are some functions you shouldn't go with that just press OK and now it has extracted the file so let's get go into uh, let's go inside inside so here nothing here nothing no no fonts it's really hiding here so you need to extract this one also so let's click here and extract and it will create another another folder click here you can see you can see that and click on payload and extract again and you can see the payload has a folder library fonts here are they 50 objects selected <laughs> So it's really 50 items, 50 fonts. So nothing is here, just you can maybe cross it and uh, you can see your folder Your folder has your Mac fonts and your fo folder, just like as you saw uh, when we, we were extracting it, you can, you, can, you can find it just like this. All the fonts here. So if we need just one font, search for it and install it but uh, I will select all control A and install for all user and I already have it so no problem I'm install it again so as you can see it is a uh, it is not a sans serif it's a serif font right so uh, how I can show this uh, let's okay uh, yeah, you can see I have already opened a Figma file where I write we are trying to use Mac fonts and change the fonts like I need the New York you can see the New York fonts are here so I click here it's a serif serif font right it's a serif font not the sans serif so here what you see how actually it works I hope you like the video maybe or not so if you like the video please thumbs up and share this or write a comment how i can progress on that and welcome to my channel again whenever you feel bye